So, uh, good afternoon all, and I'll be giving the facets demo training. That is about me. So I have 10 years of experience working into IT or healthcare industry. Okay, out of which four years I have spent as a facets trainer, facets plus US basic healthcare trainer. Okay, and my core skills are facets configuration, development, facets hosting, facets system administration side as well I've worked on and facets testing. So mainly I'm working on uh, facets testing as well as a doing business analyst role currently. Okay, so I have completed my certifications as well from Trizato. So there were two main certifications which are FBAC, that is Facets Business Associate Certification and Facets Technical Associate Certification. So business was just an overview of like uh, Facets product, like we need to create a product, map a member to a group and create a claim and the claim should be with the correct provider who is having a correct agreement and the authorization should be attached. So in technical certification, we have to create a batch wherein it should execute and load members through EDI file. And other few certifications I have gone through that is product and network certifications. So moving on to the agenda. So today's agenda is the basics of US healthcare. What is a product? How it is configured? like how a CP limit or deductible is configured, product variable component or product business components are configured, then what is line of business, why it is important, then facets pricing, so how pricing is calculated for a claim or a product, how fee schedules are attached, how a agreement is being picked for a product on a particular claim, how a agreement is mapped, how a network is identified, and this all will come under claim processing and then data model as well. So how tables are joined. So usually facets is a blend of both UI and backend. So how these tables would be joined, how data would be transmitted from one table to another table, how stored procedures are pulled, when a trigger is being called, all that will be looking at the today's agenda. So the course curriculum would be, these are the applications which we have like application support, subscriber family. So under application support, we'll get all kind of codes that is diagnosis codes, place of service, procedure code, revenue code, user defined codes, explanation codes. So these are codes which are being given by the CMS are being stored over here and used in the claims while claim processing. If it is a valid or not valid, if it is termed, not termed, even if it is termed, what would be the denial reason for that termination? Everything would be mentioned in this application support. Then we have subscriber family. So to enroll a subscriber in facets, we need to have valid group for that. Then only we'll be able to enroll a subscriber. And Enrolling a subscriber, we can en uh, enroll it using two applications. First is subscriber family and enrollment application is also there in facets. So those two applications, using these applications, we can enroll a member. And then finally, the eligibility comes into picture. So eligibility plays a vital role in facets or we can say claims adjudication because this is the first step of claims processing. So if a member does not have valid eligibility or is termed, then facets will not process the claim further and directly deny the claim as a member does not have eligibility. We have medical plan. So this is the application wherein our product is configured and all the um, sub modules of a product are created in this medical plan application. So this we have one is medical plan for medical products and another we have dental plan for dental products. So under medical plan, we have class plan definition, which is being attached to a product. So class plan definition attaches a group and a product together. Then we have plan description. So plan is nothing but a marketing name of a product which is being used outside facets. And in facets, we know plan as a product. So product ID is an eight digit number which is used for processing in facets. Then we have service ID description which is again attached to SADF and then to a CEPI. Then we have product, product components, 
these components are fixed and variable components. So two components we have. Then we have deductible limit and service payment. So these rules are basically the variable component part of a product and service procedure conversion, service revenue conversion, then SCQC, SPCR, SRCR, SPCT, SRCT, the older version of SPCR and SRCR are again comes under product fixed components. Then we have SCDF, IPMC. SCDF is nothing but the service definition. If a service ID requires authorization or not, or a referral, or if it requires both referral and authorization, that is being accounted in SCDF. In IPMC, a pro, uh, authorization or referral is counted from product procedure code perspective. Then we have PCA. PCAs are like small robots which we use for pending or processing our claims like pen, deny, or pay. So there are small logics or we have criteria. If a claim meets that criteria, then we can set an action as in if a claim should be pended, paid, or denied, whatever it is. Maybe a old rule can be specified in PCA as well. Then we have warning messages and user messages. So these two are different. Why? Because warning messages are system generated warning messages or inbuilt or prefixed in the system. And user warning messages are manually created or a user has created for their own use. So this is, this is the difference between warning message and user warning message. We have claim processing. So there are basically four types of claims in claim processing, medical claim processing, hospital claim processing, dental claim processing, and vision claim processing. But usually dental and vision would not be processed in facets. So most of the time we'll get medical and hospital claims itself. So medical claim is a claim which is built on HICFA 1500, that is Healthcare Claims Finance Administration or we can see it as CMS 1500 and hospital claim is built on UB09. So both the forms are different, their fields are different. So medical claim form will have 33 fields in it and hospital claim form will have around 92 fields in it. So for hospital, we need more information, but medical, it is like less information is needed. Again, a provider can bill, individual provider can bill a medical claim, but he cannot bill a hospital claim. A hospital only can bill a hospital claim. So when it comes to provider, so we have different kinds of providers, like practitioner, facility, and IPAs, groups. So practitioner is nothing but an individual provider who is practicing his healthcare at his own clinic or lab. So again, for identifying these practitioners, we have NWST set in CSPI, that is class plan. So NWST is nothing but the network set application which assigns a network to a provider through which we can identify if a provider is an in-network or out-of-network provider. So according to that, the payment should be assigned to a provider. Maybe in-network will have higher pay grades, out-of-network would have lower pay grades. Then we have networks, so networks qualifier group and medical agreement configurator, this is AGAG. So everything about an agreement which is being uh, done between a provider and a peer. So basically a contract will be done under this networks application. So it, it will have a fee schedule. So basically like in a fee schedule, we will have a number of product uh, procedure codes and an assigned value to those procedure codes, how much they'll get reimbursed if they are billing that particular procedure code. So this would be the introduction of the facets. The, the total duration would be of 25 hours and the time duration would be like mind magic would be telling us what would be the time duration and the fee content for the same. So this will include facets product training. So it will have uh, it will include how to build a product from scratch and how to assign benefits to them. Then facets networks training, how to create an agreement. Then we have claims training and we have data model. So data model again would be having all the uh, parts of the back and how tables work. Okay, so facets, what is facets? So facets is nothing but uh, it is an integrated healthcare application which was uh, designed in java and dotnet uh, base okay 
and like it is most widely used in us for claim processing for many of the clients and the latest version of facets which we are working on is 5.7.03 so 03 is the r3 release so there are a few more changes uh, Cognizant is going to introduce in coming months and the version would be changing very soon. So the facet certifications are facets benefit course, facets network course and facets claim course. And this is how you'll be getting a certification for your successful completion of this course. So apart from this course, what extra we would be getting is an EDI outline, or we can say just an introduction to EDI. What is EDI, how an EDI file is created and how it is interpreted in facets. So an EDI file, generally it gets converted into X12 and from there it enters into facets. A direct EDI cannot be entered into facets. So again, we have multiple jobs which takes care of this. So a small introduction to EDI would be covered under this session. And again, there will be three live projects which we'll be working on. So the first would be to configure a new, configure or update a new product and facets from scratch, like creating a product shell to a linking product components, fixed and variable components. And then project two would be to create an agreement in facets. So creating an agreement, uh, updating or adding qualifiers to any terms or adding global agreements and fee schedules. And the last project would be uh, processing a medical and a hospital claim. So which all fields are required while creating a medical or a hospital claim in facets? What are their uh, criteria to build that, the receive date criteria or the date of service criteria, how the charge amount should be calculated, how the build amount should be calculated. So everything would be covered under the project three. So the pre lab setup would be prerequisite would be we'll have to have a facets access and the version should be 5.7.03. So even lower versions can work, but just the thing is we'll not have few additional changes which this latest version has. Otherwise it would work, it would not have any issue. So apart from this, we have these additional courses for facets. So like these are the multiple applications or we can say modules of facets, accounting, accumulators, application support, benefit configuration. Then these all applications come together and process a claim. So the final output of a claim processing is being possible just because of all these applications are there at their places and in mock interviews and just uh, conducting some demo interviews so that we'll get uh, confident while our actual interviews, the similar questions or like what are the possible questions they'll be asking or scenario based questions about subscriber eligibility, term events. So we have an uh, email ID over here. So if you have any queries or any questions about course timings or um, any more clarifications you need about fee structure and all you can email so that's it from my side. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Thank you.